Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Today I'm going to be setting up the month of July in my No Frills Quarter 3 Planner and I decided to use Mystery Kit 7 today. It's the Very Berry Kit and I love this one because it is very cute and it's got that patriotic vibe to it as well. I've been um, like planning out for the weeks quite a bit more than I was previously in my actual planner and so I wanted to save my 4th of July kit for the actual week of 4th of July um, but I love this one because it's got the red white and blue and everything if you guys can hear like little shuffles and noises in the background I've got both of my puppies in here with me right now um, they just wanted to come in here with me I'm actually doing this voiceover, it's almost 9.30 on Friday evening. Um, my husband and I, we went out for a little date tonight. We went to this place called The Toast. It was amazing, it was so good. Um, they are known for like charcuterie boards and I think that's how you say that, charcu charcuterie <laughs> boards. Um, I had fried goat cheese balls, which I have wanted to try for a long time. Um, I, if I have, you know, some of you out there that watch Vanderpump Rules, uh, the whole fried goat cheese balls thing came into, like, I didn't know that was a thing until I watched that show, and I've wanted to try it ever since because I am a big goat cheese fan. Um, but yeah, Mando is busy sniffing things right now in here, which I don't know. <laughs> He's particularly fascinated by the treadmill at the moment, so he's doing his thing so if you hear that um i don't know if the microphone's gonna pick it up but that's what that weird noise is in the background just so you know um but yeah i always feel better when i sit down and plan out my month it is i don't know just my brain always has so much swimming around <laughs> inside there's all sorts of things going on and so it just feels nice to have my month planned out well in advance too. You know, we've got like a whole week or so, a little less than a week to go before July is here, which by the way is just crazy that we are halfway through 2023, just about. Um, so yeah, I feel like um, just free. My, my brain's a little bit more free <laughs> after I get all this stuff out into my planner. So July for us is actually going to be a pretty calm month. As you guys will see, my month is not super busy, which in all honesty feels great. Um, Maddie, our oldest daughter, she's been in drama club for the past little bit and that is going to be coming to an end in July. Um, she'll have her last little play on July 1st and then she'll be done with that. She's been going, you know, to drama club every Tuesday and Saturday of each week. Um, she'll still have piano over the summer, so she's still going to go do that. Um, but that'll be it as far as extra, you know, activities are concerned. Um, we do want to get Julia, my youngest, in swim lessons at some point. So that's something that we're looking into. She still gets very nervous about going underwater. Um, so I'm hoping that we can kind of combat that and get her more comfortable and everything. And, um, and then Maddie has expressed some interest. Hi, Mando. <laughs> he's um, standing on top. I have this little pink bench right next to my desk and he's standing up. Well, now he got down, but he's, he was standing up there and like sniffing the fake flowers on my desk. Um, so, but Maddie has expressed some interest in gymnastics. So overall, we, we try to do like one more like artistic, like, um, like music or art or crafts or something like that one of those for an activity and then one like physical activity. And so um, Maddie loves piano. Um, she, we don't have to tell her really to practice. She will go practice happily on her own and she is doing really great with that. Um, but we're trying to figure out some sort of, you know, physical activity for her. So um, she expressed some interest in soccer for a little bit and then, um, some interest in like track and stuff like that. Andrew was thinking about maybe 
um, having her try out golf as a potential like hobby type of deal. So, but yeah, she, and then she, you know, like I mentioned, she wanted to try gymnastics. So, and Julia wants to try gymnastics as well. So, um, but for now I'm going to enjoy <laughs> having a less full calendar because, um, work wise, things are going to be getting a little crazy over here. You know, the 2024 planners are going to be, um, officially under construction very soon here. We had a really great little powwow for the 2024 um, planners. I have some really fun ideas and I cannot wait to start working on those. So um, I think probably by the end of July or so, I will be officially working on those. And that's gonna be a huge, a huge project. So just know that um, in August and September, it is highly likely that there is not going to be a ton of extra products um, as far as the weekly shop drops. You know, you can expect to see sticker kits still and everything. But um, as far as like extra things, August and September are probably going to be pretty slow when it comes to all of that um, because I'm going to be working on the 2024 planners. I'm also going to be working on getting my YouTube membership launched, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'm hoping to launch that in August. So more details will be shared about that pretty soon, but that'll just be um, a really fun space where I can share more uh, personal content. I'm really wanting at this point to create some separation and have my like planning to prosper YouTube channel and my planning to prosper Instagram, like kind of keeping personal stuff off of there moving forward. Um, so you'll notice a little shift there with that, but um, I think that'll just be, you know, for the best. And, um, but I still, I like to share, I like to, you know, connect with you guys. And I think that'll be a really great outlet to be able to do that. So more details to come with that for sure. But yeah, that's going to keep me busy between working on the 2024 pl planners, um, also reformatting sticker kits, kind of coming up with some new ideas um, for stickers, which I have a lot of really fun ideas and I cannot wait to start working on those and then getting my membership on YouTube launched. It's just going to be a lot. So I, I don't know how much time I'll have for extra stuff. Um, the quarter four no frills planner will be launched in August. So you know, that will be very exciting. That'll be a fun launch. Um, I love putting together the quarterly planners just because I get to pick a different theme and stuff like that. I just think it's really fun to do that. So, um, so that'll be something to look forward to for sure. And then, um, yeah, I'm hoping to launch the 2024 planners in early fall is what I'm shooting for. And we will see what happens with that. I'm going to have a little bit less time to work just with things that we have going on at home, extra responsibilities and more like time constraints and things like that. So um, it'll be interesting trying to like balance everything and figure it all out. But you know what I'm discovering? And it's kind of funny is like when I have less time to do things, I get more things done. Can anyone else relate to that? I don't know if it's just the added pressure or what, but I feel like when you have a smaller window of time to get something done and you do fill up your day, you know, like every like minute pretty much of my day is planned at this point. I have something that I am doing every second of every day. Um, I don't have much downtime at all other than like right before I go to bed and maybe for like a little bit of time, like right before the kids wake up in the morning, I get just a little bit of time to like do whatever. But other than that, um, yeah. And I find that I'm more productive and, and less stressed. <laughs> well, ironically enough, it's just so weird how that, how that works. But, um, yeah, so I feel like my new schedule and everything is going to be just fine and I will make it work and everything, but it'll definitely be, you know, an adjustment. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this digital plan with me. I hope you enjoyed watching me put together this monthly spread. I absolutely love how this turned out. I just feel like it's very cute, very sweet, um, very simple. And there's lots of like blank space, <laughs> which I feel like hasn't happened in a while for my monthly view. So it's kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. So um, let me know what you have going on in July. Do you have some fun plans going on? Anything that you want to chat with me about, feel free to do so in the comments down below. Uh, stay tuned for a shop drop this upcoming Wednesday. I'm excited to share 
those um, new products with you. It will be, let's see, is that going to be, what is today? <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I, I might be speaking too soon. Never mind. <laughs> well, I'm excited about next Wednesday, but I don't think, oh my gosh, this is why I should not do these voiceovers. Let me check real quick. Cause now I'm like curious myself. Um, let me look. Oh yeah. We do have some fun things going on next Wednesday. I mean, they're all fun. Um, but there's, there is an extra thing next week, so that'll be fun. Um, I like when there's extra things. I love the sticker kits and everything, but it's always fun having a little something extra too. So stay tuned for that this upcoming Wednesday. And then, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for watching my videos, commenting, liking my videos, everything you guys do. I just very much so appreciate. Um, it definitely helps support my channel and everything. So thank you so much for that. And as I mentioned, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.